Jim, uh, games at King's home that end in drama just seems to be coming thick and fast for the Saints. This time last year, um, there was a lot of frustration. This year, you had the last say of the game for a draw. Yeah, not quite the last uh, say of the game. The, the uh, still time to kick off, or, or was there still time? But uh, no, they kicked off. But fortunately, uh, Tom Wood took, took the ball, and we managed to clear our line. So, uh, very good second half performance. I think we came back into the game well, 14 points down. Uh, we had a lot to do, but we worked hard and played well that second half. Very disappointed with our first half performance. I think our uh, game management was poor. We didn't play well and uh, allowed Gloucester to score some good, good, good scores. Yeah, that first half, the, the, the first six points seemed to come to be relatively straightforward and then what happened? Well, maybe that was a little bit of a um, that was a problem. That uh, the two points, uh, the two tr penalties came too easy, and we thought it was going to be too easy, uh, too easy throughout the game. So, um, no, we, we we lost our shape a little bit. I think we, um, you know, our kicking game wasn't good enough. We tried to run ball, which we shouldn't have done, uh, getting ourselves into trouble, different parts of the field, and they've got players who can um, who, who can exploit that because they scored tries out wide and through the tight. It was obviously very difficult to defend either way. Um, I think they like um, conditions like today with the sun on the back and um, a hard surface and, and they can play some really good rugby they've got some great attacking players um, you know through the middle and out wide as you say so um, they're always a threat um, hey it's a it's a close game we've come through it we've got two points we've got sort of three and a half wins out of our last four games so we, we've done pretty well one of the old adages in sport is just to score just before half time and then just after half time and he did both of those I mean those 10 points there were crucial in, in the context of the game yeah they were and um, we had a lot to come back from really and 17 points behind is you, you, you're struggling a little bit but you know we managed to get back as you say two scores got a very good try then so we, with uh, when you get within seven you're always in with a chance the way that the team responded to being 14 points down at half time then conceding a third try very soon after scoring and then to come back to score the try late on. What does that say about the, the character in this squad and and uh, and the belief that's been built up over the past few years? Yeah, I think we've, um, as you say, we've got some, we've got some good players there, and uh, when we play well, we're a good side. And at times today, when we've got on the front foot, we play some lovely rugby and scored some lovely tries. But uh, we're disappointed in terms of conceding so many points today. Uh, when you play away from home, you've got to be smarter than that. And hopefully, it's a lesson uh, that we can learn and, and put into practice as, as we finish the season. Going into the LV Cup uh, next Saturday afternoon, so we just bring to the end of this run of four Premiership games during the Six Nations. How do you sum them up? Well, it's um, you'd have definitely taken th those points that we've got. You know, three wins and a draw away at um, Gloucester is um, is a good return. So we'll have taken that. We're we're in a good place. We're pretty happy. Um, now it's Saracens in the LV semi. You know, we want to get to a final, a home final, if we possibly can. So uh, we'll see how we go for next week.